championship title is highly sought after and today British teammates become rivals as they compete for club glory. consist of six gymnasts, with four gymnasts competing on each of the apparatus and three scores counting towards the final result. In the absence of City of Liverpool, the 2012 winners will not be able to hold their nerve to take the title. Will the academy be hungry for gold after taking silver last year? Will Park Rican, who last won the title in 2001, be able to overtake the Heathrow Honeys? or will the pink ladies of South Durham be victorious? They're no longer alone, they must now unite. But who will be fierce enough, strong enough and brave enough to take the title? Let's head straight to the action in rotation one. A young South Durham team started off the competition on the vault. Espoir gymnast Leah Rocket led the way with a solid piped Sukahara. Leah started off with an awesome suit. And then Quad competed straight at Uchenko for the first time. It was amazing. And then I went and did my twist. Jade's full twisting Uchenko contributed to an overall team score of 39.55. Heathrow kick-started their challenge for the title on the beam with four solid performances, each member contributing to a final beam total of 38.35. Park Rican A team was led on floor by 2013 Welsh champion Georgina Hockenhall, who produced a beautifully choreographed routine combined with powerful tumbling to put her club onto the scoreboard with 39.1. <laughs> Dynamo, led by GB international gymnast Kelly Sim and Laura Edwards, began their competition on the bars. We had some little ones go out first, to, just to get experience really. So Amy, she did really well and she got through her bar routine, which was really good. And then Kelly also tried her, did new stole array and she caught it and so she was really consistent. So. And then Danielle tried her shoot half, so we had quite a good bar, yeah. And then obviously I did a really good bar routine but in my last competition on my dismount I actually hit the bar and pulled in so I was quite nervous but I managed to do it at least and it was quite good, yeah. Team Knot started off their campaign strongly with the most experienced member of the team, Neve Rippin, competing a solid routine for her club. The younger of the Downey sisters, Ellie, produced a clean and difficult routine, giving Knox a total bar score of 38.2. So there we have it after rotation one, the academy have taken the top spot after some strong performances on the vault, followed by South Durham in second and Park Rican A in third after some strong floor performances. So here we have the second half of the table. Unfortunately, some falls from Dynamo on the bars have left them down in 11th place. <music> Tolworth Gymnastics Club took to the floor in the second rotation with some beautiful routines for a somewhat inexperienced team. Also on the floor were another young team from Huntingdon, performing some fantastic skills, much to the delight of coach Adam Forwell. In this last week they've really picked it up and said, you know what, I want to compete today, and they showed it today, so me and Monica over the moon for them, so good. And against all these older girls as well, it's just an unbelievable result from today, really, really good. Manchester continued well on the bars, after a strong start on the vault. Jade Stedford led the way and was pleased with the team's performance. I was very nervous after going in the British and falling. Well, I had two new skills on bars. I did a catcher, which I've never competed before, and the door pipe dismount. And I caught all my moves and I went through it steadily. And I'm really happy compared to how I felt at the British. Elsewhere, Heathrow continued their challenge as they took to the floor to score 39.05, led by GB International and UCLA student Danusha Francis, who dazzled the audience and judges alike with her burlesque floor routine. The Academy continued to go about their business on the bars, with 2013 European finalist on this piece, Ruby Harold, proving why she is one of the best bar workers in Britain. Um, I was quite nervous here because um, 
haven't really performed this routine as much as I would like to, but I've done it a few times and I know like if I go for clean, I can do it well. Um, here's a unique combination. I go sharp into pack full. Um, not many people do this in the world. Um, and then the next unique combination is sharp half into schlerden. Um, I was meant to go toe full there, but it was a bit dodgy, so I took it in the toe on into the mo. I go toe half into Jaeger and then I go hop into double front dismount. Going through that routine was, I was pretty chuffed with that routine. So after rotation two, Park Rikane have pushed up into first after some strong vault performances. The academy are still going strong after some fantastic bar routines and Heathrow are still in contention for a medal in third with two high scoring pieces left to go. Elsewhere, Manx have pushed up into fourth, and Knots have dropped down into eighth after a disappointing beam rotation. Dynamo moved onto the floor in the third rotation, looking to forget the mistakes on beam. Over on the beam, South Durham's Leah Rocket produced a strong performance for her team. However, a few falls from the rest of the girls look to potentially hinder their chances of a podium place. Park Rican held on to the top spot with a strong team performance on the bars. I was pleased I hit most of my handstands and I hope I've shown nice lines and I was pleased to not under-rotate the dismount because I've been struggling a bit with that in training but just with the extra adrenaline then I suppose I get to do. Um, well, Alice, she Treated her Jaeger for the first time, did it really well. Um, she nailed her double shake dismount, which is, I suppose, is amazing for a first year squad. And Georgie, really nice, clean routine on bars too, nice lines. Georgie's always really secure as well. And Gina, she did really nice bars, really nice lines, tight on top of the bar. The Jaeger's really good. Knots looked to improve on the floor after a disappointing beam rotation. Young Megan Parker led the way with a confident routine and Ellie Downey showed her power as she completed some difficult tumbling to help the team to push up into fourth place. So after the third rotation, Park Rikane have held on to the lead. Heathrow and the academy have switched places with Heathrow taking second and Knots have pushed back up into fourth. So, looking at the second half of the table, Dynamo are still down in 11th place, but with some strong vaulters to come, we expect them to move up in the rankings. Meanwhile, Tolworth have moved up into 7th position. So, it comes down to the final rotation. Park Rican will need to hold their nerve on the beam. The Academy and South Durham will be looking to outshine each other on the floor. Knotts will be powering down the vault run, and Heathrow will take to the bars. Let's see who comes out on top. Heading into the final piece of apparatus, Park Rican A team looked shaky and unfortunately had to count numerous falls. South Durham looked to put behind their beam and show what they were made of on the floor. The academy began their final fight for the top spot on the floor also. Unfortunately, after a fantastic routine, Ruby took a fall on her final tumble. Not looked to finish strongly on the vault and did so in style, with outstanding power in particular from Neve Rippin, with a sky-high full-twisting Uchenko. Park Reeking continued and although the falls looked to rule them out of the title race, they still looked in contention of a medal after their previous strong performances. Heathrow finished on the bars and competed as they had done throughout, with incredible team spirit. On bars we had Mariah first and um, she did a new dismount and she did that really, really well and her whole body team was really good, she hit all her handstands and stuff. And then next we had Molly, and that was one of the best body teams I've ever seen her do. I mean, I've only been training with them for a week now, but it was so good. And then I was next, and that was my second ever body team. <laughs> I was happy with how that went. And then we had Charlotte next, and she always kills it, does them so consistently in training. And she just made a small error, but we don't mind. <laughs> we were happy. In a tense atmosphere and the title within their grasp, the Academy fought back on the floor to end the 2013 Team Championships in style. 
At the end of the competition, after the scores were calculated, the Academy claimed the title, closely followed by Heathrow in second and Park Rican A in third. So, let's take a look at the final rankings. Less than three marks separated the top three clubs, with Notts finishing just outside the medals in fourth place. So, rounding off the second half of the table, Dynamo finished in seventh place after a strong bolt rotation. So, let's meet the medalists and see what they had to say. The team's performance was good. Um, we counted one full, which was on beam, but I think we're pretty impressed and pretty proud of what we've achieved today. Today's performance, um, we all cheered each other, so that um, made us like more like a family as well as a team. So, we love competing together and it's really fun. We were just told that we were first on floor as a team, so that was our good piece. And on bars, I think we all pushed through three out of four team routines, which is really good. And oh, um, it was good, we all got really high scores, we all nailed our vaults. Beam was a bit disappointing, as we had to count all our fours on Beam. But I'm just pleased with everybody else's results. Um, we've had a bumpy few practices this week, but <laughs> definitely pulled it out on the day and just went from stroke to stroke like we saw some of our better performances today even if it was just like individual skills but we are really happy. <laughs> what attitude did you come to the competition with today? You seem very team focused. Um, in America we really concentrate on no one being nervous and just giving it your best and um, I tried to bring that over here but we're really naturally loud at Heathrow anyway yeah. so yeah. it was quite easy for us and um, I felt like we didn't even have to try and a lot of people were coming up to us like your team spirit's great and it was really just natural for us. We were like, oh, are we doing anything different? We like this loudly training every day. So. so there you have it. The Academy take the gold, Heathrow take the silver and Park Rican take the bronze. Don't forget to subscribe to VGTV for the latest news and exclusive features.